I ain't gonna say nothing, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yo, what is going on, the people? Welcome to another episode of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing, to where we talk about whatever is going on, and I'm just gonna say something just because. If you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel right down below. And you know what? Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So, I ain't gonna say nothing, but Twitter is no Twitter. Twitter is now X or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called because of this fucker right here. He decided he wanted to switch things up because he owns it. I guess that's what you what you do when you're on a power struggle and just because you own it, you change shit and figure you just gonna do whatever the fuck you want. But we all know in the Twitter sphere that we all miss that little blue that little blue bird that made a difference. Now it's like when it's on the home screen, you ain't gonna see that blue bird. You're gonna see a fucking X as if the X is really gonna mean something when it doesn't. I mean, I enjoy Twitter just like everybody else, whether for better or for worse. But I know this worse is not the worst. It's not gonna get any better no matter what. And it almost seems like every time you go to your screen, you're just like, damn. So it's almost like people do not want to even update their phone. They don't even want to see the news. So basically, uh, this video that I had seen on Twitter itself is like people are now just doing it to where it's a shortcut or a short widget, whatever it might be, because now they're just going to go back to what it used to be. we like to do that sometimes we don't but in most cases we're doing it for the betterment of us and i ain't gonna say nothing but it's almost like people are doing it because why not why not just go ahead and just make it what it used to be i don't understand why you have to change shit it's like when we get used to something why do you automatically want to change something just because you can i mean no one it was like there were no polls there was no no, whatever it might be, you just want to change it just because you want to change it. And this fucker right here, he just wants to go ahead and change it because he can. I guess that's what happens when you have all this fucking money in the world and you do whatever the fuck you want to. Now, granted, I know we all use Twitter in some type of way, whether we're on there actively or we're just here and there quick high and by. But still, it's almost like, why even bother? Why would you change something that was so good for everybody else and then made it seem like you didn't give a damn what anybody else had to say about it? I mean, I ain't gonna say nothing, but it's just bullshit. It's bullshit to where, why can't we just go back to what it used to be? Sometimes change is good and other times change is not so progressive that people, as people uh, want it to be. So, bye bye to the bluebird. Now we're here, we're gonna deal with X. I mean, just looking at this logo, it doesn't look like it's anything special. It just looks like someone just took two pencils and just, you know, crossed them together. Just like, oh, we're just going to deal with it just because we can. I mean, you could have picked something else, really. Like, really, Elon, you really could have picked someone else. I know you're not from this country, so you're not used to dealing with shit on how people do here. But sometimes it's better to give a notice than not give a notice at all. And this notice you gave to everybody else, this sucks. This representation of what it's supposed to be. I mean, is Twitter still going to be Twitter to where we could say anything we want freely and not have to be judged on the hundred and whatever characters it might be? I mean, really, this shit sucks. This shit sucks. So, I ain't gonna say nothing, but I guess you just have to deal with it. Haha, <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing, but man, it is over for you, big head host. Yes, your women empowerment, your one who thought was always gonna be your ride or die, be there for you. Yeah. You found out she don't like you big bitches either. I mean, yes, she said she loves 
about herself. Yes, she says she is all for the big bitch movement. And no, apparently she's not. Because just as much she doesn't like herself, she doesn't like you big bitches either. I'm sorry as it is, but sometimes you really think someone is really on your side. But then you find out what their true colors is. So, in news, we all found out that Lizzo is not who she appears appears to be yes she might be down for this women empowerment movement for the big bitch movement but she is not goes to show for you that sometimes a wolf is really in sheep's clothing and that's what exactly she get on the scale son <laughs> All right. get off the scale okay, then. Turn off the camera. She is a fucking wolf. A big ass wolf at that. I mean, yes, that big wide back gorilla looking ass bitch. She might have said she was all for you ladies, but you found out that no. I mean, just the allegations against her. Hmm, wow. It's just something amazing. It's the amazement of what you thought a person was when they're really not. It's amazing when you think you found someone who is going to stick up for people that look just like you. And then you find out they don't want to be of you. They don't want to do anything to where it's going to shed light to where it's like, yeah, I'm not who I say I am. But I'm just going to do it just for the fame and the popularity. And look what happens. People went against her. Even the old women that she was for put put her on the chopping block. Yeah, everybody's going to be roasting that big ass ham. So you see what happens. You see what happens when you put your false hope in someone who's not what they appear to be. It just goes to show you that sometimes we cannot always praise. We cannot always worship these celebrities who they say who they are. Because everybody has a hidden motive. Everybody has a hidden agenda. It doesn't matter what it is. No matter what, you cannot think someone is for you when they really don't give you enough hope, enough sense of a sense of calmness to say, I am one with you. Yes, this big bitch right here, she does not love you like she says she does. She is not for you like she says she does. Lyrics are very and I mean are very hidden. There is a hidden motive. There is a hidden agenda in this all. But yet still, people are willing to believe what they want to be because they rather see what's on the surface, not what is below it. And look what happened. You found out that a lady is not really for the big women. You found out that a lady doesn't even like herself being big because she is trying to make people of the same gender, of the same size as her, put her put them down because she feels less than you see what happens you see what happens when you put your praise you see what happens when you put your when your hope your fears your whatever the fuck it is in someone who doesn't give two shits about you that's why you should you should believe in yourself you don't need someone telling you how you should feel just because they think you know they're going to profit off of it so, I ain't gonna say nothing, but Lizzo, you're a fucking fraud. You're a fraud just like the rest of these people out here thinking they can capitalize on somebody else. You capitalized to where you thought you was never going to get away with it, but then it goes, like the saying goes, what is done in the dark will come to the light. And everything has came to the light that you are not what you seem to be. You are just a fucking fraud like the rest of these people out here capitalized for financial gain. Yes, you got your followers. Yes, you got your money. Now look at you. You're about to be exposed for the fraud that you are you're hurting a lot of people a lot of people who look up to you a lot of people who need inspiration a lot of people who need that type of motivation to be able to get up and go so i mean you even like ousted yourself in your own fucking lyrics just like the rest of these dumbass rappers seem to do each and every day you want to add it to the mix so now you broke your own will you broke your own I guess you broke your own code because you let this shit happen. You let it happen. And now you got to face it. Face facts. So Lizzo, I ain't going to say nothing. But you're fucking dumb. You're dumb, bitch. And you're over.